you want to cast more spells? Let's see if you can ward off this fate! I need a bit of practice. Someone went through here. In fact, I think I can see several tracks. I hope she didn't hide in this forest. Finding her here would be quite troublesome. It is an ancient and holy forest. A powerful place. There must be another egg here. We should be careful.
We didn't want this fight. Why? Why? In order to capture and extract from her what we need. To examine her. Dissect her, if necessary. You have done us a great service, guiding us directly to her. Are you saying that... Even if the creature has concocted some remedial potion, it is not the song we came for, but the bird. She leads the sorcerers of this island. She knows how they transform, and from where their powers originate. Our scientists think that the remedy is there, in their pseudo-magic, and in their mutation. Thank you for bringing her to us, and ridding us of the monster. Do you think I'm going to allow you to manipulate me? I don't think anything. Apologies, Excellency. But you are going to die tragically from a stray bullet intended for the monster. To my help! Mercy, Your Excellency, I surrender. How dare you ask for mercy after attempting an assassination? After revealing your conspiracy to me? You deserve nothing less than death. I will not go down without a fight. To my help! And death to the others! Tiana Hach? She's unconscious. We need to bring her back to her village. She needs to be tended to. We should leave right away. Is she going to survive? Yes, she will heal. They were not shooting to kill her. And we are resistant, you know. The bond empowers us. It gives us the vigor of animals, the resilience of trees. It's undoubtedly for that reason that your alliance is so interested in us. Tiana, he does not mean to harm you. Please, let me... What do you want from me, Ranaikse? We were manipulated by the Alliance. We had no idea that they sought to capture you. We believed their fable of a miraculous remedy. We killed the man that wounded you. He will hunt you no longer. And their governor will have explaining to do. I suppose I should thank you for having pulled me from their claws and bringing me here. ...and to have crushed the life out of a few of these parasites. There is indeed a remedy. But I doubt that I can do anything against this sickness that you describe. I don't know it. And I don't see how I could create a remedy that would heal it. Perhaps you could try. We are desperate. This remedy was prepared for a precise purpose. To heal those who escaped the claws of the Alliance. These monsters capture the Sinol Menoi and torture them, bleed them, put things in their veins. Those that do escape are in such agony that our care and comfort are not enough to mend them. That's why I made this remedy. 
Not for your Malikor. My people have never fallen prey to such sickness. How can you be so sure? Perhaps it's your tremendous resistance that protects you from the sickness. Perhaps. Enon Mil Frichtimen protects us all. Enon Mil Frichtimen? God of a thousand faces in your tongue. The one and many who protects us and our island. They and we are tied and bound, as they are tied and bound to you. Their generosity to our people is infinite. But the crimes of the Renaixi enrage it. After all, perhaps your Malikor is their vengeance. This is strange. The two tracks that we followed have led us to the same name. Enon Mil Frigdimin. The god of the island. A god that seems to be truly real and friendly above all. But to think he would go as far as to create a sickness for all of us. He could have created this sickness out of vengeance, or to weaken the enemies of his people. I don't know. I still think we're missing important pieces of this puzzle. Either way, one thing is certain. If there is something, or someone on this island, powerful enough to heal the Malachor, it is certainly him. We need to bring this news back to Constantine. Even if we don't have a remedy yet, he'll be happy to know that we've made progress. Happy to see you, my dear. You really don't look well. Have you not yet seen a doctor? No, no, it's nothing. You know that I've always had a weak stomach. My nausea will leave me eventually. You wanted to tell me something? Allow me to present Afra, an emissary of the Bridge Alliance. She is an eminent naturalist who studies local flora in an effort to find a remedy. Your Excellency, it is a great honor. You were part of Governor Buren's lost expedition, if I've understood correctly, were you not? Yes, and our research would have borne fruit if it hadn't been so brutally interrupted. I can only imagine. Nevertheless, you are most welcome. Your great learning will certainly prove useful. I implore you, my dear cousin. Do continue. We are eager to hear your news. I wanted to inform you of our progress made in the attempt to discover a cure. As you advised, I followed the leads shared by our allies, none of which led anywhere. However, they both pointed in the same direction, towards a sort of god that the natives worship. They call him En Onmil Frichtemann, the god of many faces. He is very powerful and protects the island. How can you be sure that it's not some sort of myth, even a superstition? I saw it with my own eyes take shape during a ritual. It is possible that the Malachor is the expression of its vengeance. In that case, wouldn't it make sense that the colonizers of the island were touched before anyone else? Uh, that would seem logical. I admit that I don't know to what degree he is implicated, if at all. But if anyone knows of a remedy on this island, it is without a doubt Enon Milfrichtiman. Princess, could you shed some light on this being? Is it possible to meet him? All the Donaigada know him. He is the strength, the spirit of Tirfredi. You were looking for a demon or a remedy from plants, so I did not think of him. But yes, he is very powerful and as old as our world. He could surely heal your sickness. 
But it is not simple to meet him. Impossible, I would think. Though it is not my place to judge, you need to earn the trust of Glendan, the elder of the council. Ask him for his help. He lives in the village of Dorha Genedu. It is in the heart of our island, at the entrance to our most sacred lands. Thank you for your help, Princess. I will not forget the numerous services you have provided for us. And thank you, dear cousin, for everything. I would like to go to Kurganau, the place of ritual, to study the carvings and offerings there. But they call it a dangerous place and I cannot go alone. Will you accompany me? Very well. Understanding these transformations will surely be useful. Thank you, Desade. I knew I could count on you. Let's go.
Hold on. Help is on its way. You were lucky, without our presence here. Yes. Blessed be the Earth that has brought you to us at this time. I... You won. I was touched. I am hurt. Oh no! Morian! These creatures are venomous. If their venom has come into contact with her blood, this young woman does not have long. And we are too far from the village to seek help. How are we going to save her? I know a potion that will erase the effects of the venom. I have a vial of it in my bag. Hold on. Thank you. Truly the best winds have brought you to us. Here, drink this. Don't worry. It'll heal you. You can trust her. She knows what she's doing. Morian, what do you feel? I... I feel the pain leaving me. She is saved. You have great wisdom. May the trees always bear fruits on your journey. You have saved Morian. It was nothing. I'm glad I could help you. You are different from other Renaixi. You know the potions. But what were you looking for here? We came to study this place, the carvings in particular. This is one of our places of ritual, a place of connection. What do you hope to learn from our carvings? I... I seek to understand the mechanisms of your transformations. I think these carvings could help with this. You seek the secrets of the Donegada. You should speak with Armal. Yes, his name is Dunkas. He is also our Donegad, and his wisdom is boundless. Here is someone who should be able to answer all your questions, Afra. Let us go, then. We will have time to discuss on the way. I have so many questions about this place, about the rituals that take place here. Bertier to ma, Tonkas. These Renaiks have saved my life. What happened? We were meditating at the sacred circle in Kerganau, and we were attacked. Morian was poisoned, and they gave her a potion. Really? We are not yet used to the Renaixe doing something without expecting something in return. You should go and meditate now. I have to talk to them. They are different from the others. Oh, I'm sure of it. I hear your gratitude, Morian. It honors you. Now go. Leave us. My name is Desade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Dunkas, the Marl of the Gigidor, and also his Donegad. Your face markings designate you as one of ours, yet you are a Lugaid Blau, a clan that rarely shows generosity, yet you saved Morian. I thank you for this. Please, we couldn't let her die without doing anything. This feeling brings you honor, but what were you doing near our sacred circle in Kerganal? It was me who led my friends there. I was hoping to study the circle to better understand your culture. Loyans always want the same thing. They covered our secrets to better steal our land, to better hurt our children. Calm now. Perhaps this Loyaness is different from the others. Maybe we were wrong about them too. I'm not trying to conquer your island, let alone hurt anyone. I just want to know. 
A noble quest that could perhaps bring peace, but to which I cannot answer alone. I cannot reveal such secrets without seeking advice from the other Donegad. But in order to thank you for saving one of our daughters, stay with us tonight. Eat and celebrate life. Maybe by sharing this joyous moment, you will learn something. We accept your invitation. Isn't that right, Dasade? Of course. Thank you for welcoming us, Dunkus. I'm sorry. You look disappointed. I did not expect your Denegad to reveal all its secrets to us, but I would have loved to learn more. Perhaps you should be patient. It takes years to understand the mysteries of the Donegada, and since you are staying with us tonight, it will be an opportunity to continue learning. That's what I hope. Thank you for welcoming us tonight. We had a good time. Yes. It was very... enlightening. We are glad that you stayed with us. We too have learned from you. Your face brims with thoughts, Afra. Is something wrong? It's nothing. Probably just tiredness. We should all rest. It has been a long day. May your dreams be wonderful. Good night. May the moon watch over your dreams. Is something wrong? Dunkus wasn't here tonight, yet he's the one who invited us to stay. I also saw one of the elders sneaking out of the village. You think they're hiding something from us? I don't know. But since they don't want to share their knowledge with us, let's try to follow them. I don't like it one bit, Afra. If the elders and Dunkus are gone, then we have no right to follow them. In that case, why don't you explain where the transformation comes from? It's... It's not something that can be explained that easily. You have to believe to understand. You are not capable. I see. So we will discreetly follow these people, since this is the price of knowing. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. Creatures attack them. I don't know. Are they guarding this place? If they're trained to guard it, this must be a very important place.
hear something. We found them. Let's be as discreet as possible. They are below. Get down or we'll be seen. Forgive us. We did not intend to interrupt you. Approach, the knights. Why are you here? We're sorry. We didn't mean to interrupt your conversation. We need answers, so we followed your elders. I never thought I would see you like this, hiding in the bushes, spying on your elders' daughter of Bladnit. I'm the one who brought her here. She didn't want to follow you, but she refused to tell me what I need to know. <sighs> well, since you absolutely want to learn, do as the apprentices do. Take a seat, and be quiet. We are here to meditate, to hear the voice of the earth, because the wind has changed. Close to us, Arwechnis Diri. You were right. Yoan is ready. Morion's trial has made her more sensitive. She is his Minundanem, and he is hers. One cannot progress without the other. She will have to bring him to the Cave of Knowledge. This will be his last trial before creating the bond. May their path be gentle and shielded. As for me, I hear the call ever louder, Dunkas. And the day the call is loud enough, you will respond just like each of us. But it's not yet time for you to join Enon Milfrittemen. So, Afra, are you satisfied with what you saw? It was informative. Although it's not what I expected. Thank you, Dunkus. This meeting was strange. It almost seemed like they really heard voices in the wind. Maybe it's true. Some believe so strongly that they end up hearing or seeing what they hope for. Have you learned what you wanted to? What they said about these young people we helped out, about the fact they were ready to bind themselves. We have a unique opportunity of seeing a transformation with our very own eyes. But we can't follow them wherever they go. No, of course not. I must think on it. Come back and talk to me later.
Desade, I'm happy to see you. I can't wait to find this famous cave of knowledge and what it contains. I could probably go alone, but just think about what you could learn and not only about yourself. Don't you want to understand where your face markings come from? You're right, Afra. I will accompany you. Thank you, Desade. Let's return to Dunkus's village. Our new friends will surely be able to tell us more about this cave. Can you come and see me? We are happy to see you again. You will always be welcomed as friends here. Thank you. I'm glad to see you too. But we came to ask you something. Of course. What do you want? When we participated in the Dunkus meditation, he spoke of a cave of knowledge you had to go to. And do you want to see it? You still wish to learn how we become bound? It is a very sacred place. Only those who will become Donegada may enter there. That's right, year one. But they saved my life. If someone finds out that we have helped the Renaigse to enter a sacred place, they will refuse to bind me. Dunkus will never do such a thing. What needs to be done will happen, no matter what. You're probably right. Look for the entrance in the Vedhat Genadu. Entering there will not be easy. But you will have to discover the rest by yourself, like true apprentices. Thank you, Morian. And fear not. No one will ever learn what you have entrusted us with. Ato Oi. I'd like to speak to you. Bird tear to mud. Thank you for coming to talk to me. You are on Ol Manawi, but you also look like a Lugaid Blau. Lugaid Blau? Is that what you call the congregation? Yes. Those who have yellow eyes on their banner. They're coins. But to answer your question, yes. I'm the legate of the congregation. Is legate the Renaixe word for on Ol Manawi? No. It means that I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships with the other nations. So I was right. You will be able to help us. Some of your clan are preventing us from accessing one of our sacred glades. Really? Why would they do that? Several seasons ago, some men from your clan came to ask us for wood for their houses. There were some old trees in this glade, so we let them do what they wanted. At first, everything was fine. But then they cut down too many trees. So we wanted to heal the place, plant some new trees. But they won't let us come close. Their bod irony, their warriors, are stopping us from doing so. I could investigate. Yes, please. You must tell them that they have to let us heal the glade. Thank you. 
spoke the truth we'll be rich hey what are you doing here we could ask you the same question except we found this place first the treasure is ours so i suggest you disappear fast listen we didn't mean to bother you we were only exploring the area but perhaps you could tell us exactly what you're doing here huh. you look like nobility then we don't want any trouble we also are, um, explorers. We discover secret places. That type of thing. Really? And you found one near here? Yeah. We managed to convince a savage to talk to us. And he told us there's a holy cave not far from here. The kind of place where the natives hide their treasures. But be careful, eh? It's ours. And how do you plan on entering this cave? Well, with enough explosives, we'll eventually get through those routes blocking the entrance. It's only a matter of time. I see. Very subtle. And the Islander didn't tell you anything about this? He didn't really have the time. And he didn't have a key on him. Just some bloody seeds. Anyway, now that you know what we're doing here, you'd better leave. Listen, I don't want to worry you, but you are taking a big risk by staying around here. When the Islander's clan notice his disappearance, they will come for him. You can imagine what will happen then. Yeah, you're not wrong. With the time it will take to craft enough explosives, we may end up with a whole tribe after us. Hey, never mind, guys. We're leaving. Fast! The character has changed. He now resembles an Onol Manawi. You're right. They even depict his bond to the forest. It seems like this painting depicts some kind of ritual. Yes. 
The character at the center is pouring blood on a stone. And one of these giant creatures that the natives call Nardigs is present. The location looks like the stone circle where we met the two young natives. Someone's coming. Let's hide. If anyone finds us here, we're sure to lose the trust of the islanders. Where are you going? We must leave before they discover our presence. Someone's coming. Let's hide.